So once um, you're in your like regular non-honor section, you know, you add an external tool and the external tool is Zoom. And you can call this your class hours. And we can delete this later if the times aren't what you want. But down okay. here, I only want it to be like for period one. So I'm gonna click period one. Okay. And then I'm gonna uncheck the green box here that says everyone else, because I only want it to be visible to period one. Mm -hmm. And look, my phone's ringing, awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that for now. So where is it? It's down here. I'm gonna go ahead and like move it to the top just so it's easier. Okay, um, and let's click on this and schedule a period one Zoom call for kids. Schedule, and then it's only for period one. So I'm gonna delete like everything else so they don't get confused. Mm -hmm. And then like maybe it'll just be like for 15 minutes because it's one of our like, you know, check-ins. And maybe it'll be at like 8.30. Um, all of these are going to be recurring, like weekly, so I always check that off. And period one meets Tuesdays. And yeah, we'll stop it around May. You can change that later too. I'll turn on my video, but leave off the kids' videos. And I'm not going to let them join before me. I'm gonna mute them when they get in here and I'm gonna enable the waiting room so that like they have to go to the waiting room and I have to approve them to come into my meeting so that I don't have like random people. I'm gonna save and once you save, like this URL appears. Mm -hmm. So I just like copy that or you can do copy invitation. Oh, cool. You can do it that way too and then say copy meeting invitation and then close that. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to go to my honors double rostered section and I'm going to say add and you can do it like lots of different ways. You can add, um, hello, you can add it as like a page or a link. I like to add it as a page because then I can put like all the information in here. Okay. So I'm going to just call this like class hours just like before and I just copied all that info so I'm going to paste it in here and here it is like all that info and let's make this stand out because that's what they're going to have to um oops that's what they're going to have to click on so like I'm going to do that and Maybe here, let's delete some of this and clean it up. Okay, join Zoom meeting, meeting ID. I'm gonna make this like a little bigger, like maybe like that, mm -hmm. so they can really see it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's about it. And then down here, like it's not for all sections. Again, it's only for period one. So I'm gonna just do that. So the green button next to period one is there, but the green button next to everyone else isn't because it's only for them. So this should, whoa, create. So this should appear now in your materials. There it is, class hours. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this up. So no matter if you're in your honor section or your regular section, which are double rostered, they should be able to click on this. And when they click on it, it opens and then they can click on the link. Oh, cool. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. And then right there, it shows, you know, the, the dates and stuff. Yeah. All in advance. It shows here are all the dates on Tuesday at 8.30 a.m., and if you put it at the top of the page, it's easier. And you can like copy and paste this into here, like send a message and you can send it to all the kids and say, hey, I posted it in materials, but here's a message to all of you, what the link is and what times we're meeting. 
You can also copy and paste this into your updates if you want, right here. And anything that you put in your updates, if you want it, um, like check the materials, like say for new information, if you want it to stay up here, mm -hmm. there's a button here with a bell. Mm -hmm. And if you click it, it will stay here. No matter how many updates you put, this will always be there unless you put a new bell update basically oh okay yeah so if you wanted you could even put the link up here and it would permanently stay there the issue is that the announcement goes to all your classes unless so let's remove that remove unless when you're doing this you like x out the other periods got it like here does that make sense mm -hmm. so if i only want the announcement to be for period one like Class hours have been posted with a link in materials. So now only period one will see it in their update speed and also up here. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So now, unfortunately, we're going to delete all these so your students get don't get confused. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm also going to stop recording. Oh my gosh, if I can figure out how to do that.